Hello and welcome to this Test Kit Plus video where I'll demonstrate testing a sample reported as MDMA, otherwise known as Molly, Ecstasy, and a host of other street names. We'll see if the color results are consistent with what we'd expect for MDMA. I'll use an MDMA Test Kit package from Test Kit Plus, which includes three tests. A color reaction chart is included with each test. The first test we'll use is called the Marquee Test, and it's the primary test for MDMA. I'll put a drop on the side as a control, and then one on the sample. The liquid should go straight to black, which is what we're getting right here. You might also see some purple, especially at the beginning of the reaction. Next is the MEC test, which will react a bit differently from the marquee test. Again, I'll put a drop on the side. It starts off as green and goes to black with MDMA. The green color at the beginning is important. If you don't see it, your sample is something other than MDMA. Lastly, we'll use the Simons test. It's a two-part test. Start with Simons A liquid and then B. Simons is good for differentiating MDMA from MDA, a closely related compound which reacts similarly to MDMA with other tests. We'd expect an immediate blue color for MDMA, which will darken over time. If the sample were MDA, there would be no significant color change with Simons. A blue color is what we get right here. These results are consistent with what we'd expect for MDMA. Note that the sample in this video is in crushed crystal form, but MDMA street samples also often come as pressed pills or in capsules. Regardless, the test procedure is the same and you only need to use a small amount of the sample for each test. I've included links in the description for where you can get test kits for a lot of substances. Hope you found this video useful. Happy testing!